Thanks for watching. Police in New York and London are warning people about it. We've had our own cases here in the Silicon Valley, too. The stolen iPod. Tech Now Scott McGrew wonders with so many bad guys out there, what you gonna do with your MP3? It's hard to say just how many iPods have been stolen in the United States. Only a fraction of victims report the crime. Do you really want to hurt me? And then there are lost iPods. No crimes, just left on airplanes or in rental cars. Add them all up and Dave Schumann says you have a lot of missing music. And so it's pretty much a no-brainer, I think. There's been pressure on Apple to create some sort of missing iPod database. After all, it can associate each iPod with a person through its iTunes service. But so far, the company has resisted. So Schumann created his own solution. So here's an iPod. Right. Uh, this iPod has iHound software installed on it. By using the iPod's ability to identify itself to computers as a hard drive, he created a small and free program that flashes up a message on the thief's computer when he first hooks the stolen iPod into his computer and then secretly messages you. And at that point, they've already fallen into the, the trap which is that we're also going to transmit a signal back to our server and we're going to tell our server the name of the computer, the name of the person who's logged in at the computer, and the IP address, which we then geolocate for you so you can find out uh, approximately where it is on a map. The company's only been around for a couple of months and has already helped 10 people find their iPods. The software actually works on anything that has memory from camera memory cards to flash drives and it's free. We have a link to it on our new improved website, technowtv.com.